What is up, guys? It's Charlesac, and as most of you have probably watched in the past, um, I have this how to play GameCube games on your Mac video, and it seems a lot of people have been having troubles with unarchiving the actual game. So I just thought I would make a quick video on like how to do that, and just to show you guys a more in-depth way, because on my video I kind of did it kind of fast, and it seems to have gotten you all confused. So here you all, here you go. So I'm going to test this out with a game called Super Smash Bros. Melee, which probably everyone has heard of. And um, now, what I suggest you do is you make a folder called GameCube ROMs. So I put GC ROMs, and then put it on your desktop or like somewhere in your finder, I don't know, wherever you want. Um, and then you just put your exactly what you downloaded in that folder. Um, and if you didn't watch my last video, you will need a program called the Unarchiver. Which you can either download on online or in the app store. So, once you have it installed, I mean downloaded, you put in your folder and you simply right click and hit open um, open with the unarchiver. And it doesn't matter if it's like .rar or .7z, you should just have to right click and hit open with the unarchiver. And it will take a while and then it will just unarchive all of it. Um, this is actually with an ISO file. Um, as you can see right here, I think all of them will be like this, but if it's not, I'll make another video. Um, I don't have any other, um, things to test, but yeah, right now I'm just using the ISO. Um, if you need a place to get your ROMs off of, go on coolrom.com. It's pretty good or emu paradise, but I prefer coolrom.com. Coolrom.com. So just wait in for it to load, and it's almost unloading. It's almost unloading. Almost done loading. Oh crap! Oops, I just dropped my controller. Oh yeah, um, if you're playing on if you're playing GameCube on your computer, I strongly recommend getting some kind of USB controller because otherwise it's almost impossible to use your keyboard. Um. There's a way you can use your Xbox controller if you have like a wired Xbox controller, or you can use your PS3 controller because it's Bluetooth. And if your Mac has Bluetooth, then it will work. But I just use the cheap Logitech wired um, gamepad thing. Okay, so once it's done, I'll make this little file. Now, inside the file, there's like just, just these two things. But it might be different if you're using a um, dot... Uh, dot... Dot rom the rom a rom a rom yes but for some reason this is an ISO so simply go on your doll open your dolphin and you click browse oops and then you okay yeah this is a fresh version fresh version of dolphin by the way so um I haven't like done anything to the done done anything to it and um, also other people were having trouble with like creating saves so I'll show you how that should look normally. Okay, sorry about that. Now, um, go to your desktop, um, or wherever you have it saved. Hmm. Oops. Uh. Oh. <laughs> where, where the heck is it? I don't know. Oh, that sucks. Oh, here it is. Desk, desktop. Okay. Now, here's my folder. I hit open. And it will load any file that it can recognize in that folder. So, it just opened this. So, if you put any other games in here, it will load it. So, let's just play it for the first time. So, this is what will happen the first time you open it. It's going to ask you to, like, um, do the save thing. So, with your remote, you want to hit yes. And once you do this, it will be okay with any game. It just creates a virtual save. See, like the little, the little yellow things at the top just indicate it. So right now, um, this game works. Oh, yeah. Okay. This game works really well on Mac. Um, just to show you, it's working. I'm pretty awesome in this game, by the way. Especially with Kirby, she's my character. Oh. Well. What the freak? 
I didn't know I was that good. Okay, I got Yoshi. Oh yeah, Falco Punch. Okay. So, as you can see, it works really well in Mac. Um, just to show you my specs, because some people were also asking like what kind of specs you should have. I just have like the basic model of the iMac. Um, 2011, and also 2010 works good. Um, about this Mac. Okay. So yeah, I ha I just updated my Mac to um, OS X Mountain Line, but um, Snow Leopard works good too. Um, I have four gigabytes memory. I have an Intel Core i5 processor, and I have like Radeon graphics card or something. I don't know. It's not it's not the best, but it, it works good on Mac. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, watch my other video if you want to know more in depth on how to do it. It's kind of old. Um, who knows? I might make a new one because it's gotten pretty popular. But yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.